PC Decrapifier. Program designed to get rid of the garbage that you usually find on new computers, but it can also be used on computers that may be just new to you and you've just gotten a hold of it and you want to clean up garbage that somebody else passed along to you. Well, let's go through this quickly. Step number one, once it's running, first thing you should do is check for updates to make sure that you have the most recent version. And then select next. Agree to the license. Remember the free version can only be used by home users. If you're in business, you have to pay for this product. This is the warning that they issue. They don't know which one you've paid for and which one is trial versions. So you do have to do a little bit of research and make sure that you're not going to wipe out a paid for version. If this is a brand new computer, the answer would be yes. So the answer for me is no, it's not a new computer. Next, always create a system restore point so that if there's a problem as we go along, at least we can go back to where it was before it started doing its work. Next, you have a choice. Select all or select none. In my case, there's nothing on here that I want to remove. This is the section where it lists all the program that it's found on your computer. If this were a new computer, it would have the items that are pre-installed when you first get your computer from whichever company you bought it. Since this is an old computer, it's listing all of the programs that I have on my computer. If this is a new to you computer, you now need to decide which of the programs that were handed to you along with that computer are programs that you actually want to keep and which ones you want to get rid of. One word of advice, this is not a program designed to remove an antivirus program. In my case, I have a vast on my system. If I wanted to remove this program, each manufacturer has their own removal tool. And that's the program to use to remove an antivirus program. All the other programs on here, you should be able to use this program very nicely to get rid of them. You decide what programs to keep and what programs to get rid of. If you have questions, use your search engine. If you have more questions, contact me. I'll be happy to tell you which ones you ought to keep and which ones you really don't need.